But the latest buzz in beauty, ding, there's another one, is honey-based products. Now, in appreciation of Bee Awareness Month, Trudy is here to tell us what the humble bee can do for our skin. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So how important are bees to the beauty industry? Look, they are so important. They're vital to our life. In fact, if there were no bees, there would be no human beings. Um, in that one in three mouthfuls of what we eat is derived from a bee, it's the same for the beauty industry. So one in three ingredients are derived from a bee, and that's just not the honey or the royal jelly or the venom, it's the pollination process that goes into the plants and the flowers that are used in the beauty industry to make a range of different products and medicines. So we really need to encourage bees that much, we I do. do know. I read a really good novel once about a thriller about bees and all the bees got wiped out, it was terrible. Uh, so what does honey do for the skin? Look, honey's got an amazing antibacterial, antiviral, um, and also nourishing benefits. So it's not only good for your skin in that it hydrates your skin, but it's an antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, it's just like liquid gold. You know, Manuka honey is most sought after by the beauty industry. It's the gold standard yeah. for honey used in the beauty industry. And it just, it does so much for the skin. It also um, inhibits an enzyme that destroys collagen as well. So it's got a lot going for it. It is really, really good, isn't it? I know that you can put it on um, scars too, to sort of... Scars, healing. Um, it's great for acne. It actually is a humectant too. So it's moisture drawing. It draws moisture from the atmosphere to our skin skin. Um, antibacterial so very good for healing acne. Um, you know it draws bacteria from the skin so that's mm. really great if you're acnic skin um, inclined. Um, look the benefits just don't stop there it's incredible. It's a good thing. What about bee venom? Bee venom or known as apitoxin um, I just want to say quickly, before somebody sends another rude message on my um, Facebook, um, <laughs> that vegans but don't worry about this process anymore. The beauty industry has developed this beautiful silk pad that the bees land on, um, beekeepers that extract bee venom, and it vibrates, it's slightly electric and it vibrates, oh, and the just... bees drop the little bit of venom without the stinger being removed, so no bees die in the process of making venom for the beauty industry. Good, actually that's great to know. Good. Yeah, um, worth 350 US a gram, so it's more expensive than gold you know so they do not want the bees dying no. so bee venom is an enzyme it's a potent protein so it actually helps rejuvenate collagen um, it's firming it's got the most amazing technology behind it now to extract some of the goodies from it and put it into firming and anti-aging day and night creams. Wow so what though if you, I think people are probably watching now thinking well what about if you're allergic to bees can you use bee based beauty no, stuff. You can't. I mean you can try, but I wouldn't know. You no. I mean you could do a patch test, but look, honestly, if you're allergic to bees, then I would avoid bee based products. Okay, so so if you're allergic to bees, these things are definitely not for you. Definitely not for you. You can always do a little patch test on the inside of the arm is a good place to do it. Mm. But I mean I'd just be very cautious. It's like anything that you're allergic to like nuts, you know, you wouldn't use nut oils in, yeah. in your skincare re regime if you're allergic to nuts. Absolutely so it goes not. the same with So what are you brought in today? Tell so look that. There's so much going on in the in the bee world for beauty. Um, look, Burt's Bees is a real favourite of mine, as you know, mm. and it's probably one of yours as well. Yeah. They do a micellar water as well, which helps to um, <coughs> extract, you know, dirt from the skin. It's nourishing. It's like a magnet to dirt. So you could put that on a cotton bed. It's actually enriched with honey and an Australian clay, white clay. So it's very, it's very, you know, healing as well. Excellent. What about a these? range of the on, beautiful lip grab crowns. Grab a few. There we grab go. Grab a few. 100% natural, so you could actually just have that for lunch if you feel like it, Mel, you don't need to just Seriously? put it on your... Yeah, mm. it's 100% natural. Um, they are gorgeous, a range of six shades. Um, you know, like they're I beautiful. said, they're full of honey, um, beautiful colours and 100% natural. Well, they feel absolutely gorgeous as well, OK. Yeah, so six right, put those carefully down. Um, I bought in this new product. It's a new range from um, Shiseido called Wasu, and this is a cleanser that is naturally foaming without water, so it's great for travel, um, full of honey and royal jelly, so really nourishing, um, like those, like I said before, antibacterial, antiviral, you know, really, mm. really good for the skin. It smells nice as well. Um, and this one is Be Brilliance. Um, this is a new mask. It's got raspberry seed oil in it, as well as honey, so it's got manuka honey in it. So a great mask for the skin, hydrating, um, you know, if you're, on, if you're tired, no, you can take the cap off if you like. Can I go into that? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Um, really luxurious, really rich um, and creamy, um, a natural beauty product as well. I love um, trying all the stuff that you bring in. Yeah, mm, and that it smells, smells great. Delicious. And what's this one here? And this is the last one by Nature, another natural product. Um, 
it's a manuk honey and charcoal, like a little sheet mask. So again, these were about ten dollars in the pharmacy. You can pop that on, nourish the skin, draw out any impurities. I've given that to one of my sons to wear actually to use. Yeah, and, and very good it. if you've got an acne, you know, problem or breakout problem. It's excellent. You can just spot treat the skin with that. Awesome, Trudy. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Mm, I smell delicious too. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.